I just said it. All right, so rest in peace to Leah. Like, and it's crazy. Yo, Mob, Mob really be knowing. Yo, y'all really dropping names, though. Like, y'all really on point. That's scary. That's scary. I ain't going to say, but y'all dropping some names. That's, I ain't going to lie. That's frum, 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 pow. But, like, I, like, rest in peace to Leah, man. I, like, I love the Leah, man. Like, I love the Leah. Her, everything about her music, her spirit, her soul, just her demeanor, like, if she was here today, man, like, I would, like, truly, like, just be overall, like, starstruck if I was to ever, you know, see her, unfortunately, not, but I don't like to speak too much on, on you know what I mean, that, so, but I was, I love the Leah, man, like, that was, still to this day, like, nobody can't tell me nothing about her, straight up, she on, she's right here on my, on my wall, too, the beautiful Leah, man. That's how true it is. No cap. That's how true it is, bro. Beautiful. Rest in peace. Like, that's how true it is. No cap. All right, let me see. Yeah, I would never speak, like, disrespectful on that type of time. Like, that's just overall, like, not, not cool. <laughs> I just saw a funny ass comment. <laughs> Yo, that niggas is funny. It wasn't nothing about nothing about uh Leah, nothing like that. It was some whole other shit. I just seen some weird shit. Alright, hold on, cause I can't see the comments. Alright. What's your thought on mumble rappers? Mumble rap. Uh nothing. I don't care. <laughs> Next. Mm, I'm trying to find a spicy shit for me. Damn, y'all typing fucking paragraphs. What kind of questions is these? <laughs> like, y'all niggas is typing paragraphs. Man, I swear to God. If nobody noticed, y'all should notice by now, no cap. What type of girls do you date? I date cool girls, man. Cool. You just got to be cool. You got to have a vibe. You got to be dope, man. You feel me? That's it. You gotta be, can't be boring. That's it. You can't be boring. And of course, you got to be on your shit. Gorgeous, bad. You know what I mean? Fly. Like, I don't know. Like, Y'all know how I do. I don't do nothing trash. Y'all know. I Stop playing with me. Y'all know I don't do nothing trash, bro. I don't do nothing trash. Like, you gotta be bowed on my level. Like, straight up, man. Gotta sip to that. And and when I say, and a lot of people, a lot of people see, I be like, I do prefer, like, girls that's like caramel brown dark. You know what I mean? Like, I do. I prefer a caramel brown dark. That's my that's my my type. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not against like light skinned girls. Like I would date a light skinned girl too. I feel like I answered this question a little too much, but some people be on here new and never probably heard me speak on this before. But I love all women. Like all women is beautiful, man. But as far as my type, like a lot of people just like a bad chick. You know what I mean? You could be bad. You could be gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous, but if your attitude, your personality ain't ain't up there, ain't clicking, I will literally not pay you no mind. I'm the type of person I don't be on it at all. I don't be in anybody's face. I just don't do that, my man. I just that's just never been my style, you know what I mean? Um, people gotta understand I'm still a woman. People, you know, some some people forget. I don't know why they think I'm a boy or whatever the case. I don't want to be a boy. I'm happy I'm a woman because I think like a woman. Certain things just don't don't fly by me. Like people would be like people. It'd be like niggas be having like the girls of their dreams. I done came across plenty of those. 
And some girls might have not, don't have the right attitude. And I literally just keep it pushing. Like, I don't care about none of that. It's about the heart to me, for me, your spirit. I, I, I read people's spirits. If your spirit not right, you're not going to get too much of me. You feel me? Like, your spirit got to be right. I got to make sure, like, like I'm I'm seeing through your, your, your soul. Like, not to speak, like, too crazy like that, but that's just the type of person I am. I analyze a lot. And I don't like a lot of people around me. You know, definitely just anybody. So, um, when it comes to women... I don't just be having a bunch of women around and like just coming and doing like, unless like it's like gang and we partying and it's just like we on the outside, it's nothing personal. But when it comes to like personal shit and like shit that's like attached to me, like, I don't do too much of that. So I think a lot of a lot of people should be like that too. You know, it's not healthy to just be having anybody next to you. No matter how a person look, no matter how much money they got, no matter who they is, what their situation is, you still need to be on edge, be on guard at all times. And that's how I am. You know what I mean? But, like I said, it's all about the spirit, man. It's all about the soul. It's all about the personality. It's all about the vibes, man. That's it. Straight up. And you got to, of course, you got to be attractive. Yeah, and definitely good energy, of course. That just goes in hand with everything else. Are you a singer? Yes, I'm a singer. Come on, what y'all thought? Oh, like, tell who this? Sophia, 2011 December. What the fuck kind of name is that? See, now you done... Your name alone is annoying. But it's all love. But I'm definitely a singer. Like, first of all, I'm the queen of... And king of R and B, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I call myself queen, you know, with a K, the king and queen. But yes, I'm the king and queen of R and B. I got a couple joints, um, with a few, you know, top legends in the R and B game right now. Y'all probably ain't him yet because I couldn't like. I guess they were scared to like show that. I was on the record, so whatever the case, like, because I guess, like, I look a little too aggressive. I didn't give them R&B vibes or something. I don't know what it is. They just never put the records out. But, um, yeah, so, but I definitely do sing. I don't want to sing right now for y'all because, like, I'm in, like, I'm in rapper mode right now. But if I want to start singing... I'm going to just go crazy right now. But, well, that's it. That's another situation. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Let's talk about lies. Why y'all think I'm lying? Oh, man. Oh, y'all getting spicy. Heard you. You know what's crazy? Is that like I love I I I'm I'm spoiled now. I love a girl with a nice little shape, you know what I mean? Nice little ass shape, hips or whatever. But I do prefer like I like I love titties. Like I do. Like right, that's my my you know my little thing with shorties, you know what I mean? Like when I uh, I I prefer that. I just like I like that on a woman. I was keeping it G. Yeah, I prefer. You know what I mean? Not meaning like, but you gotta have you gotta have ass too. Like, if you're gonna have you know titties, you can have little you don't even gotta have big titties. You can have like nice little small joints for me and have a nice little butt. You gotta have butt though. But I do like titties more than I like butt, but you gotta have a butt. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense or whatever. Okay, oh, man. yeah, I get it. If you get it, you got it. If you got it, you get it. You get it, you got it. If you ain't got it. If you ain't get it, fuck it. Um, let me see what we got on here, man. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah, ooh, ooh, 
Ooh, y'all getting spicy. Okay. Let me let me take some. I'm gonna answer that question in a few. Let me just take some time to see how the comments looking, cause I I really can't see the comments. Mm. Mm. Who is who? Hey, don't be throwing no names out there now. Don't be putting no names on me. I ain't. I don't know who you talking about. Yeah, I see. I start saying things. I don't know who, who nothing. I'm just young and made. Um, um, that's it. Do you prefer feisty or calm? Come on, bro. Like that's like the most obvious question ever. Feisty? Who like calm? I like girls that's crazy, bro. Crazy. Come on, I calm. Boring. Boring. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. No, but all jokes aside, though, I, do, I like girls that, you know, get a little feisty, of course. I think anybody kind of would prefer that. Nobody wants somebody that's, like, always, just always on cool mode, calm mode. Like. But it's a time and a place for everything, too, for me. It's a time to be feisty and it's a time to be calm. And that's just what it is. So I prefer both. I'd rather feisty more than calm, though. Hello. Um. <laughs> now I had to click this one because I didn't hear this like. A lot of a lot of a lot of people throw this word around a lot a lot toxic. Like, I, I I hear that word a lot. That shit crazy. So you like toxicity. Um, I mean, toxic ain't always bad. You know what I mean? It's not always bad. You can't always look at it in a bad way. You feel me? Toxicity bring a little life to the party a little bit. Can't look at it always like a bad thing for me. It's not always bad. But it's not healthy to happen consistently, you know what I mean? Where to the point where it's not good at all. So that's the only reason I say toxicity can have a it can have its bad ways and it can have its good ways. I don't know if this is even a word. I'm just I'm just I'm just like rocking with um, Niqua, ex Niqua, ex Niqua. I'm rocking with you, shorty. I get what you're saying. I don't even know if this is a word. It probably is a word. Toxicity. I don't know. Tox, toxicity. Oh, toxic. Hey, man. See, y'all know what she mean, bro. That's it. <laughs> Let me see, man. Y'all funny, man. Y'all funny. Ooh. Yo, this person, first of all, I think this is like the second or third time I don't put you on my shit, not even realizing. Do you agree that Aries are toxic? Aries are very motherfucking innocent. Stop playing. We are innocent, bro. Very innocent. You know what it is? We just misunderstood. I don't know why everybody feel like this. Not everybody. I'm not going to say everybody. It's only people that... Is that a fly? Boy, who said you can come over here? Bro, is you know you know how people say yo a fly it's a, like a fly on the wall? Like this is literally the case right now. And he really like dead eavesdropping. I should throw a whole fucking fucking eight ball at this nigga. Where did you even come from, boy? Anyway. Um, do you agree that Aries are toxic? 
Man, they, anybody, any, you know it's crazy? Everybody say every sign is toxic, bro. Like, anybody that been with a certain sign, been like, that person toxic or have toxic ways or just do something like... <laughs> we just misunderstood, man. We could be cool. We like real big lovers, big hearts and shit like that. But like certain things, just like don't fuck with us, man. That's it. Just don't do no clown shit. And we Gucci. I don't believe that though. I believe I I actually like have a lot of Aries people that I know, and I never get that vibe from them because I think I understand them. I think if if you don't understand a person, you can assume that. I can say a lot of people that I've been associated with is toxic. I could say that, but I'm not gonna say that because I don't. I don't feel like it's, it was that to that point to that to that major. You know what I mean? I felt like it was just a lot of misunderstanding. I guess like with anybody, friends, family, relationships, it don't matter. It just sometimes things be misunderstood, mis- miscommunication, and that's what it be. I don't think it's like y'all niggas be this new generation thing, everything toxic. That's the problem. Yeah, right. Everyone has a, some type of toxic trait, bro. Like everybody swears Scorpios like is like just loony and shit like that. Like every single one, like nah, nah, everybody like that, bro. And then some people, it depends on the energy around you too. Somebody can bring that type of energy out of you. You know what I mean? Like, that's another thing. Like, you're not just a walking toxic person. Sometimes it be the people you surround yourself with that can bring that type of energy out of you that you probably never even knew you had. So you can't even think like that, too. You know what I mean? Sometimes it could just be a certain amount of human beings or that human being or this person or that person or whatever the case that might bring that out of you. That don't mean you just some walking toxic person running around starting some bullshit. So... I mean, it's all about, it's just all about energy, man. Certain things ain't for certain things, man. Would you get more face tats? Um, I wasn't even supposed to get this one. I wasn't even supposed to get this one, but I definitely wanted this one. This one came about during quarantine, and I just was like... I was in like, fuck it, bro. I need another tat, bro. I want one on my face again on the side, right? As far as another one, I was thinking about getting one more up here somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to leave my, my, my face alone. Oh, so now y'all gonna get into this sign shit. Every time I come on live, y'all motherfuckers wanna talk about signs and shit. I don't mind because I'm into that shit, so it's cool. Would you date a Sagittarius? Um, it depends. I mean, I'll date any sign. I mean, it really, it ain't really like I have like a standard sign, like. It all, like I said, it all comes from like your vibe, your energy. I mean, Sagittarius is a fire sign, and I'm I'm a fire sign. I'm an Aries, so we will be compatible. But I heard Sagittarius is a little dramatic too. You know what I mean? So it depends on um, it's their personality, man. They vibe, man. I'm not saying no. You know, it depends on what come. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Somebody said Aries and Sagittarius are soulmates. Hey, one day maybe. I actually dated a lot of Virgos. I see that question in here. I actually dated three Virgos in my life. (sighs) What zodiac sign is more toxic? Oh, I ain't gonna click that one. Because we off that toxic shit. See, y'all still on that toxic shit, bro. Like, what's wrong with y'all? When are you dropping those YMA hats? The YMA hats is already out. What y'all talking about? Young and May, shop youngandmay.com. That shit is already, that shit been out. I need some better questions, man. Let me go through these comments. Let me go through these 
comments, man. Because y'all got to come on. Come with some different questions now. I don't want to keep talking about the Zodiacs and shit. You know, I talk about that shit all the time, bro. <laughs> Somebody said Gemini, Aries. Y'all still on that shit. Gemini's is cool. I fuck with Gemini. Red wine, by the way. For those that that don't know about it, red wine. No Hennessy, no, no, no. I'm chilling. I'm chilling on liquor and shit. Like, look, I'm just sipping some wine with y'all. Calm shit. I'm probably fucking sit my ass down somewhere. All right, let me see. Give me some better questions, man. Let me get some better questions. Come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Yo, I had to put this question up here, bro. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas is funny. Talk about your first time with a girl. Oh, man. So, let me say. Thumbs up, bitch. Thumbs fucking up. I said thumbs up, man. I don't kiss and tell, man. Thumbs up, though. I've been in, first of all, I've been liking girls since I was in fucking first grade, bro. Well, that's first and foremost. Like, I've I've been looking at girls, loved girls, paid attention to girls, wanted to be involved with a girl, playing house with girls, humping girls, since I was in elementary school, bro. No cap. So, Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good fucking question. Hell yeah. I can't even cap. Hell yeah. I do sometimes. It's a difference. Like a lot of people feel like money make you happy. You know what I mean? And it do. It, money make you... See, people People don't understand the difference. And this is when the wisdom come in. The difference between when people say money don't bring happiness or whatever the case. Money bring a different type of happiness. You know what I'm saying? Money bring uh, more of that like surface happiness. You know, whatever you see is is how you feel in the moment. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, you see that. You happy you got this. You happy you got that. It's the lifestyle. Everything is 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 just... You know what I mean? Just on the surface, is everything just is in front of you. That type of happiness. That's like that type of happiness, but that's like exterior happiness. Inner happiness is different. That's the difference between, you know, when people say money don't bring you happiness. Money don't bring you inner happiness. Money don't bring you uh, longevity happiness. You know what I mean? Like far as like happiness that stick. That's the difference. You know what I mean? So, um, that's why sometimes I do. I do miss life before the fame because life before the fame, you know, the happiness was 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 a little more uh, authentic. You know what I mean? It lasts long. It was a little more, you know, realistic. You know, now, you, you know, money bring more of a fake happiness. So, it's two different two different type of happinesses. Um, but I do, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I I I've gotten the position I'm in, something I've always wanted to do, so it's that type of happiness. 
but you do miss it. You do miss, you know, shit from before. You know, because it was more it was more easy. It was more easy to maneuver. You didn't have to worry about too much. You didn't have to worry about people's opinions, people's judgment, as far as like the whole world, you know what I mean? Um That's why I don't really try to be in the limelight too much neither. Like I stay low key, I stay in the cuts, I stay to myself, I stay within my bubble, my team or whatever the case and what I got going on. I don't be wanting all that attention, man, because all that attention just bring extra negativity sometimes, man. And I don't like that. So I be trying to, I keep a balance. Like I still dip and dab. Like I still be around in the towns. I still try to, you know what I mean, be around my peoples and stuff like that. And then I deal with what I got to deal with as far as like music and fame and all that stuff like that. So I keep a balance every now and then. Of course, it's more fame than anything, but it's cool. But that's the difference. Mm. <laughs> Yo, y'all be saying some crazy shit. Like, I just want y'all to see this. Like, this is some of the shit they can say, some stupid shit. Do you like stinky feet? Hello. Yeah, if you if you my girl. <laughs> if you my girl. And we rocking. Listen, baby, it's okay. Just, you know what I mean? Let me smell them. Mm Mm-hmm. Got a little, mm mm-hmm. Got a little, little schmink, schmink under there, man. Got a little, little corn, you know what I mean? Corn chips. You know what I mean? Got a little, what's that, mama? What's that? But if you my girl, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, what's that, mama? You know, kiss it, mwah. now go wash your feet real quick. Go get in the shower. You know what I mean? Your feet shouldn't even be smelling like that. You know what I'm you know, not too crazy. Like, I love feet. I'm a feet person, for me? I love, I love, I love my lady feet. Straight up. You know, you got to have a little, a little funk. Don't, make sure your shit ain't smelling like a whole grown-ass NBA player though, at the game. Like, your shit shouldn't be smelling like one of these niggas that just finished the finals. Playing their heart out and they go in the locker room and take their socks and big ass sneakers off. Now, if you're just something like that, that's OD, bro. You know what I mean? Like, get out. You gotta go. But, like, you got a little funk under the toe or two. You know, under the, maybe the pinky or the one in the middle. You know? Mm-hmm. Go watch that real quick. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yo, bro, y'all laughing. I'm dead ass, though. I'm dead ass, though. Like, when that's your girl, she can have a little funk under the feet. It's okay. Sometimes your girl might have a little funk under the feet. She probably was walking a lot. You feel me? But, you know, a lot of girls don't wear socks all the time, neither. So, little funk ain't gonna kill nobody. But, like, if it's too major, you gotta go wash them shits, bro. That's it. Y'all niggas better stop. First of all, y'all niggas better stop acting like y'all ain't like y'all ain't like whoever you love. Like y'all girls talking about y'all know y'all done smell y'all nigga feet or niggas y'all done smell y'all girl feet. It ain't been a little funky before. And you but you love her though. So it's like, you know, my mind. Feet a little funky. You'll tell her, like, yo, ooh, feet a little funky, mama. You know what I mean? I'm straight tell her. And that's it. What do you mean? Ain't nothing wrong with a little funky feet. Man, it ain't too crazy. Mm. I told y'all we was getting spicy. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. And y'all better stay there too.
My whole life has changed. Alright, so. Um, I to answer this question. Uh, yeah, the next. <laughs> All right, see, now y'all getting a little too spicy, man. What, bro? Like, y'all be saying some crazy shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Yo, if I... Oh, man. <laughs> Ah, these questions is funny as fuck, bro. Yo. Yo, I'm about to get up this shit. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to put this in. Because <laughs> y'all wanted to get spicy. Y'all want to get spicy. Yes, I eat peaches, bro. Like, come on, bro. First of all, peaches is good for you, my nigga. Peaches is mad good for you. I eat peaches. I eat pears, oranges, apples, cherries, mm, strawberries. Watermelon is my shit, though. Son, watermelon, though? And you gotta have it gotta have the seeds because that'd be the sweetest shit for me. But yeah, I eat I eat that. Um what other fruit? Um I like smoothies, you know, you put all the fruit in and just zoom the shit in. Um but yeah, peaches is good, bro. So shout out to you if you Deja 16, you eat peaches, mama. That's what's up. Eat your fruits, mama. And your vegetables too. Make sure y'all eat your vegetables, man. Mm. <laughs> yo, yo, I got, I gotta put this shit down because I, I, I just gotta get it spicy in here. I'm gonna answer y'all questions. I'm just gonna answer how I want to answer them, but. I need questions that's going to be, like, spicy. That's going to make people real in, for me? Um, How many bodies you got? I'm trying to figure out what that mean. Like, what do that mean? How many bodies I got? Because I'm only one body, for me? I, I only got one. I'm only one body, so I'm not a fucking... I don't have clones and shit, so... I ain't understand this question. Y'all gotta make it make sense, bro. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Have you had a threesome? Um, no. Yo, 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 oh my God, yeah, nah, I hope, I swear to God, I hope the people asking these questions is like fucking 20 and up, bro, no cap, I, I like this, I like this question, let's see, this is a little more convenient, what's most romantic thing you've done for a girl? Mm. 
I feel like I do a lot of romantic. I be doing romantic shit all the time. I'm I'm a romantic ass nigga, no cap. That's one thing I could say. I'm a romantic ass nigga, boy. Um. Mm, damn. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all my scenarios. Uh. I'm going to go to the next question. Are you a cheater? Aries don't cheat, first and foremost. Like, don't ever disrespect, bro. All right. Matter of fact, let me pull, pull a glass of wine to that. All my Aries in here. Aries, please let them know. The fuck they talking about? Pull up. Nice little glass of wine. Aries don't cheat. Pinky, pinky out. Hold on, pinky out. We don't cheat. We don't cheat. We faithful. Loyal. What the fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Oh man. Y'all getting too spicy, man. I'm 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 gonna take a breather on the questions real quick, bro, cause like whoa scared. <sighs> Y'all getting too personal, man. Y'all trying, to, y'all trying to go viral. <laughs> y'all trying to go viral like what's up, Fabio? <laughs> y'all asking some personal questions. Y'all got to chill, man. And there's mostly these little nasty girls in here, bro. And these nosy-ass motherfuckers, too. Nigga says, young and mate at the dock. I'm dead. Oh, man. I told you I was spicy, but goddamn, not that damn spicy, man. I wish I thought I was going to go into detail about a lot of shit, bro. No. I, I know I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did say spicy. That's We supposed to go spicy. That's what it was about. But guess what? Hello. I finesse. Finesse everything. Cause you you know you know the little blogs and shit, yo. Yo, y'all know the blogs and shit is watch. So you know you gotta finesse your, your questions. I mean your answers, for me. You gotta finesse your answers. That's what they be trying to do, like in the radio stations and stuff. They be trying to ask little questions, but my finesse game is official. You know, so bring the questions. The questions is the the clickbait. You need the clickbait, for me. But guess what? You're not finna get me. I was answering. I answered every fucking question that came on this bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Don't do that. Nigga put peaches. Like, what you wanted me to say? I like peaches. I like apples. I like oranges. What you want me to do? Now, if the nigga said, you eat ass, <laughs> then I ain't got no choice. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> They put the fucking peach emojis, bro. Now, if you said you ate ass, then that's different. What the fuck? I ain't lie. I'm innocent. I said peaches. Come on. I said fruit. All I saw was fruit. Fuck this wrong with y'all, man. Nigga said, I'm innocent, baby. Fuck is you talking about? Anyway, um, it was nice talking to y'all, man. We've been on here almost an hour. I appreciate all the questions. It was fun. It was cool. I just felt like turning up with y'all real quick on some little cool, little spicy shit for me. Um, but that's about it. I appreciate all y'all helping me out with the album too. Uh, when I was live right before this. So alright, so this is what we're gonna do to break down. We're gonna have green lights in the studio. 
Um, we're going to have 17 songs on the album. And we're trying to name the album Queen. Queen with a K, of course. K-W-E-E-N. You know the vibes. And we're trying to put a song called Mob on that bitch. Alright. Say less. I appreciate all y'all, man. I love y'all. I appreciate the questions, too. It was fun. It was cool. It was lit. Um, I'm going to just highlight y'all another time. I'm going to keep y'all updated with everything. Stay tuned for more videos um, of Red Flu. We shot a couple in Atlanta. Shout out, um, pay, um, I'm gonna shout out Pay It to, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, stay tuned for BTS of uh, Petty Wild 3 Pool Party. I'm gonna have that for y'all so y'all can see what was going on and shit like that. And, um, uh, yeah, and I'll, oh, I'm gonna be still dropping videos. I'm, I'm constantly be dropping videos. Like, y'all know YouTube is my shit. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. I'm almost at 3 million subscribers. We've been doing very well. Yo, YouTube, I'm going to need that um, 3 million plaque soon, too. So, hope y'all watching. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, but more, oh, yeah, more videos of Her Story. I'm still not done with Her Story, the first album. I'm not done with that. We still going to be dropping videos for that. I'm going to constantly be giving y'all videos. And now we're working on the album. We're just going to come, keep coming with material, man. More features, more shit like that. Mob, you know, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. I know y'all family. And we all this, man. Appreciate y'all.